Jesus, it's cold in my room. Good lord. What up? So I haven't made a video in a while, and uh, I'm being very conscious about my hands right now and talking with my hands because I know usually I do like this number and this number and this number like I'm controlling a fucking Muppet or something. But this time, I'm keeping it under control, and it's probably going to show in my head. Like, as in me doing this, and me doing this, and me doing this, um, that I'm keeping my hands under control. Um, updates with my life. I went to an LGBT-friendly um, hair salon in D.C., literally located three doors away from the HRC merchandising building. It's called VH... No, VSL. I keep thinking Virginia High School uh, League or whatever VHSL stands for. It's VSL Hair Design. Sat down in the chair, and the guy asked me, what do you want? And I said, get rid of my swooshy Justin Bieber hair. I am so sick of it. I've been tortured since about my looks since I was in elementary school. I was then tortured about my looks when I was in middle school, and then I got tortured a little bit about my looks when I was in high school, and now I'm in college, and I'm too old for this shit. I really like to do now is when I'm just sitting there studying or chilling in the apartment watching a movie. I like to, I like to do this. I like to do this. Because my hair is so short and I'm not used to it that I like petting it. Because it feels weird to me. Yeah. I'm, I'm much happier. I really am. I was very frustrated and I was at a breaking point. And now, you know, it's, it's shitty that I had to go out and change myself because society wouldn't change to the point that, you know, um, people would stop making fun of me. I had an experience the day before my hair got cut that was the probably one of the worst experiences that I'd had with the hair. I don't usually go out in public um, unless I absolutely have to. And I, I had put off going grocery shopping and going to the mall and going to unique thrift store and looking for um, a coat that might help me with the fact that it's turning into winter. Um, I had to do those things, so I sucked it up. I was like, I'll just make a big trip out of it. I don't have anything to do this weekend, so I might as well, besides get my hair cut, so I might as well do it. Unique went fine. I, I didn't exactly find what I was looking for, but went to the mall to get um, some tongue retainers uh, for when I go home and start working with kids again. And, you know, these uh, 14-year-old girls are laughing at me, but that, does, that really doesn't matter because they're 14. Honestly, I could sit there and make them cry by picking apart their physical appearance, too. But I didn't, because they are 14. And then I got to Safeway, because I had to go grocery shopping. And these guys that were standing outside talking to the girl who was doing the Salvation Army um, donations thing stood there for five minutes as I was walking up to Safeway. They caught a glimpse of me from the parking lot and the entire three minute to five minute walk that it took for me to get from my car into the to get uh, get a cart and then get in the store they just picked apart my appearance every joke that I had heard over the past couple of after the actually it's been like a year over the past year about the fact that I like my hair a little bit on the flippy side um, came out. And that hurt because they weren't 15-year-old and 15-year-old 15, 15 boys and girls. They were full-grown men sitting there making fun of my appearance like we were in high school. So I came to the realization that sometimes being the bigger person doesn't necessarily mean turning the other cheek necessarily, or whatever. Sometimes it means that we look at ourselves and we say, am I really that attached to my hair that I just refuse to get rid of it? Because if I really am that attached to my hair, these jokes really shouldn't matter. But they do, which means that I am willing to make a change, and I am willing to give up 
a little bit of something to have personal happiness.